Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. Thank you for joining me in the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In this video, I'm going to quickly discuss Click Answers and show you how you can set up a knowledge base and a knowledge assistant to get answers from your unstructured data. So let's jump right in. So to get started, we are on the Click Analytics homepage and we're gonna to navigate to the Create page. And you'll notice under Content and Collaboration, we have a tile here called Knowledge Base. And the Knowledge Base is just a collection of your unstructured data sources that we currently support. And I'll talk about that in a minute. At any time, if you wanna learn more, you can click the Learn More button, watch a video, etc. So you're covered when it comes to learning about this particular feature in depth. At this point, click Knowledge Base and we're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna set up a very simple technical support customer support scenario for HVAC equipment, heating, ventilation, air conditioning. So we're gonna call this the HVAC knowledge base. And I'm going to put it in my company's shared space here called company ABC HVAC and click create. Now the next step is to add documents. And these documents can be of a number of different file types. Now, before I get into those file types, I do wanna show you that you can access these files from a connection such as a Dropbox and SharePoint S3. You can choose from existing documents that have been already uploaded into your catalog or you can upload them directly from your computer. And we're gonna do that in this case to make it simple. So here you can see we have supported file types, text, markdown, PDF, Word docs, PowerPoints, HTML, rich text, and open document formats. I'm gonna click browse. And in this case, I have some technical specification submittal documents. These are documents that contractors and support engineers use that contain a variety of technical related information for products. And now I'll click upload. Now, once these files are uploaded, the next step is to index these sources. So we click on index all sources and we can expand to see the sources and we can see the last update as well as the index status. Now we can see the update is pending and the status is in progress. Okay, we can see our index status is completed. There's also an index history, so you can keep track of the last time these files were indexed. Now the next step is to create an assistant. Now when you create an assistant, an assistant can be created separately and attached to an existing knowledge base or up to five knowledge bases. Or in this case, it gives you a quick button here to create the assistant for this particular knowledge base immediately. So we're gonna call this one HVAC Assistant. And we're gonna put it in company ABC and click Create. So now that the assistant is created, you have the ability to ask a question of that unstructured data. Okay, so I'm just gonna expand the chat window and you can see we have our saved and history and I'm gonna ask a question. What does this knowledge base tell me? And now you can see the knowledge base provides technical specifications and information for a line of ductless mini split air conditioning and heating systems. It includes details on heating and cooling capacities, energy efficiency, electrical requirements, airflow rates, unit dimensions, and compatible accessories. The content seems to be product documentation aimed at HVAC professionals or contractors to aid in selecting and installing and understanding the capabilities of these ductless systems from the specified manufacturer. And you can see there's a link that will also show you the explainability where it's pulling this information from. So you have additional governance and trust, and you can even download the document similar to what I showed you earlier for extra verification. Okay, so you get the basics of this. We're going to wrap up this video, but before I do, I'm going to set the stage for the next video. I'm going to ask one more question. And this actually affected me personally. My question is, what are some of the compatibility issues a contractor should be aware of? A contractor should be aware of the following compatibility issues. Mismatching outdoor and indoor units is not recommended and may void or limit the warranty. And it goes into the specific model numbers for indoor and outdoor units. 
The content also mentions that the equipment is AHRI certified and you all tested only with specific condenser models. Using other uncertified condenser models may lead to compatibility issues. Hence, this is a real world scenario that I'm dealing with right now that is costing me over $8,000 to replace and I'm currently working with my contractor to find a resolution. So join me on the next video to learn a little bit more about this story and how Click Answers helped save the day.